Welcome back, you guys. This is Tessindra, continuing my Hoi for Kaiser campaign as the Mongolian Khanate. And we're hopefully, we're gonna go to war with Qing. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a claim on it, but I think I can go to war with him, them, through this one. Yeah, we get a claim on everything, and then we go to war with Qing. Uh, out of all of these dudes here, like, Yunnan clique, we could, we could kill them, but the mountains are an issue. They've got like 30 divisions, and fighting that in the mountains is not really appealing to me. So, I think I will just focus like this for now. I think I can push through with my calf, but uh, apparently they don't agree with me. Inferior enemy. Oh, they're still preparing. That's fine. Yeah, we are on speed 5 right now. So let's just go ahead and do this. That's, that's fine. Russia declares war on the Don Kuban Union. Doesn't that mean you go to war with Germany? Right? There's a chance that Germany defends them. Oh, they didn't. They let them through. And they're Bolsheviks. Really? Wait, which way did they go here? Who is his name? Who is this guy? Nikolai. I don't know where they went. But it doesn't really matter what Russia went for. They're always going to go to war with us at some point, aren't they? I think it's kind of like guaranteed. Uh, what research can I get done before this war? Like, we're about to get this land doctrine over here. Okay, so we did the Urga Road. We got some infrastructure here. But I think I will just go to war with Chings. Yeah. I think it's fine. I mean, they have a lot of divisions. I know that. Oh, Serbia capitulated. Greece and Serbia was annexed. Ah, oh, by the Austrian Empire. Interesting. Our ideology has grown. Well, I would like to get up to 60 popularity. So, yes, let's do this. We can go up to 54. So, two more of these. And we can have increased PP generation from that. From having high popularity. That's going to be good. It's going to help us quite a bit. Um, can I handle Qing? I think I can. I mean, I don't want to fight them in the mountains here. But I think these infantry dudes are just going to hold the line. I could, might as well just push you guys out for now. Yeah, it's fine. You guys have a general. I hate the fact that these portraits look exactly like the army is empty. I wish there was just another template for if you had that. Ooh, cavalry. Cavalry expert. And you're also an infantry leader. Sure, I suppose. Infantry division attack. Well, you know. Suppose it's fine. We can then swap him around if we need him to. Uh, but you, on the other hand, have nothing valuable. Not a single trait. Um, we could go commando, I suppose. Nah, it's fine. We'll train that guy up. This one is level what? Exactly. He's level four. Uh huh. He's got a lot of defenses, though. It's naturally what we need. Okay. Can I add support artillery to my calf here? Artillery. Yes, we can. So get, give you guys some support artillery here. What are these? Do I have some of these? We have two of these. Okay. Khan's bodyguard. We have none of these. Let's just delete them then. Uh, you guys are... Huh. I, I just want to swap you all to the same one here. Yeah. And then maybe we could beef you up to 20 wide? Infantry equipment, we don't have the infantry equipment for that. 
what if we were to give you priority? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, could I scale you guys down? I could, but I don't really want to. I'm going to scale you guys up. This might be a huge mistake. We are lacking quite a bit of infantry equipment. But it's only for 100 days. It says, at least. So depending on how well this goes, we should dominate the Qing. If I can get my guns in order. It's 100 days, that's not bad. We're making a lot of these. No, 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 production, production. We're making over 100, of, 100 guns a day. And that's gonna be needed against the Qing. And the artillery is fine. Can we add support artillery to you? We could. Uh, yeah. Oh, American Civil War is over. And the CSA, CSA have won that. They keep winning that, to be honest with you. I'm no longer surprised. So, I think I'll just put you guys on attack the second this focus is done. So, there we go. We are now at war. I'm gonna give you guys force attack, and you guys can't get force attack. Okay. So, right. Let's go ahead and get some military factories. Oh, we can go with war economy. Let's do that. War economy, here I come. You guys are on aggressive as well. You are on aggressive. Toad anti-tank is done. So we got that on lock, at least. So the mountains are proving to be quite difficult for us to push through here. But I was kind of expecting that. And, but we are ripping through down here. If we can get all the way to Nanjing... Oh, Yemen. Oh, that's not really important. Uh-huh. Looks like Yemen is out of the fight. Toad anti-air is done as well. Let's go ahead and grab improved infantry equipment. Come on, guys. Can we push through here? I want to push through all the way to Nanjing. Why are they defending against us so well here? Weird. Mm, they are now pushing back. That is unfortunate, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is not really working out, is it? They are pushing into us right now. Well, they do have a lot of guys here. A lot of manpower. But I was hoping to like take over some of their provinces before they would able to reinforce. Okay, what if I tell you guys to stop attacking, put you guys on uh, balanced, and focus on defending that for now. But we will keep pushing here in the south. The infantry up there were just wasting equipment. Yeah, they're fighting us back with just raw infantry. Which is unfortunate. But uh, I'm going to need more guns here. There we go. Don Kuban Union was annexed. Goodbye, Don Kuban. Uh-huh. This is proving to be quite difficult for us, which is uh, unfortunate. I thought our horses would be very, very powerful against him, but I'm guessing because of the lack of the infantry equipment that it's not really working out that well for us. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. We are under strength over here. So, let's stop attacking and try defending for a bit while we replenish our supplies here. The God of War, thank you, thank you. Uh, give me this military factory. Hmm. 
Can we hold this? Can we hold this? Hopefully. Uh, I'm gonna cut back on you a bit. Yeah. So we've got all the artillery we need. I'm gonna keep just three factories on that. Give me military factories over here. Thank you. These guys only have manpower, right? Do they have artillery? No, they don't. It's just raw manpower. Alright, let's retreat. We can fall back. It's fine. We'll try this again later. Okay. I told you guys to fall back. What is this? The ruling Nizam of princely India. Ah. Interesting. Indian Empire. Ooh. Interesting. Can you guys retreat? Yeah, looks like they got out in time. But they are not able to set up any def defenses right now. There we go. Okay. So, right now we are on the back foot against these uh, Qing troops. Uh, but hopefully we can whittle them down. I mean, they outnumber us in manpower, definitely. But our combat modifiers are way better than his. And also, some of my dudes were green. They're fine now, but they need reinforcements. We need guns. It's still, yeah, 95 days. Hmm, this border might be a bit too big for you. Hmm. Yeah, they are pushing into us, which is unfortunate. But if we can get him to overextend, then we can push into his uh, mainland here. Hmm. This might have been a mistake. Oh, you're under strength. And you're attacking into us. Across a river. We have support artillery on these guys. And you don't. So this is going to hurt for you. Quite a bit. Uh, you're attacking into guys that have artillery. That's never a smart idea unless you have some artillery yourself. Which you don't. Uh, you guys, attack into this guy. This big province here is uh, annoying. There are five people defending this. But they are able to hold. Really? Okay. Now let's try pushing again, shall we? Hmm. Modify government. Can I get another bonus here? Oh, we can get weapon manufacturing. Ah, it doesn't make them cheaper. Damn it. What about this one? Military factory construction speed. Alright, let's get that one. So they are pushing into us here in the north, but... If I were to push... Ah, oh, this is across a river. Ah, oh, damn it. It's a river over here. We're gonna have to push down here. If we want to push, that is. So you have like 16 or 17 factories. That is quite a bit. That should help you uh, keep up the industry there. We could do this and then get some more resources, but it's not what we need right now. We could do this one, I suppose. Yeah, let, let me get some... Uh, I, I'm gonna need some more doctrines. I'm gonna need to get an advantage over these guys quite heavily, actually. Let's cut you back by one again. So we have 15 factories working on the guns right now. Give me support weapons too. Hmm. I feel like these guys down here are quite weak, but we are not quite there yet to be able to push into that and wipe them out. 50 days, it says. We got improved infantry equipment. That's good. It's very good. We don't need to upgrade these. 1939. Let's go for this. It's kind of early, but I think we need some more industry right now. We need to catch up on guns. And we might need some more manpower soon. Uh, free military factories. Go back to the uh, artillery. Yeah, we'll keep it like this. 
Uh huh. So maybe we should counterattack. Yeah. Let's counterattack here. Sultanate of Egypt, Saudi Arabia. So the Ottomans won that. Really? You are now a puppet of the Ottomans. That is uh, weird. But they are still at war with Iran. Iran never joined the, the Cairo Pact. Okay. So we are stronger down here. And I think if we start pushing down here, they're going to stop this advance. And try to reinforce the borders down there. If they don't, then hopefully we can take over... Like, if we can take over Henan... That's 35 million dudes that they cannot use. But then again, they don't get all of that, do they? They get 400,000. That's that's quite a that's quite a lot of troops though. Uh, all of these rivers are annoying. I wish I could give my guys uh, engineer companies. Uh, can we start making those? I don't think we have any uh, aluminum. We have a little bit of aluminum. If I were to do this, uh, something like this, yeah, let's start making some support equipment, shall we? If I can get shovels to my horses, then they can cross the rivers without a huge penalty. It's still going to give them a penalty, but it's not going to be as bad. Central America declared war on Argentina? No, United Provinces. That's like thing above Panama, I think. Uh-huh. Do I want to push with the guys in the north? I'll wait a bit. I'll start pushing with the infantry in a second, because they can take this back quite easily, but once they get to the mountains, I think they're going to get stopped. Modern military doctrine. Uh, give me the other one as well. Might as well. Let's try to get some doctrines then. I said I did not really want to spend 70 days on a, on a, on a Doctrine boost, but I'm going to need that right now. Uh -huh. So, the province of Henan has its infrastructure in completely shattered here. Uh -huh. If we can get to Nanjing, that would be amazing. Ah, this river crossing is proving to be quite difficult. Retreat. So, we got 250,000 dudes left. We might have to fix that at some point here. Get some more guys. Because I'm also worried that the Fangtian government or the Japanese might declare war on Qing as well. And then all of this will have been for nothing because they're going to grab a lot of stuff. I think. But I'm quite liking this push here in the south. Yeah, the river might be a bit difficult here into Nanjing. But once we can start taking all of this, they are doomed. They're losing a lot of available manpower. Yeah, they're down to a million. Uh-huh. Ah, you're attacking across the river, dude. That's not smart. That's not smart. Madras declared war on the Indian Empire. That's like... That's not smart, man. You're gonna die. Okay, if I were to add to these dudes here, engineer companies, yeah, we're not, it's not enough. It's nowhere near enough. We need like 700 of those units. Okay, it seems that we are losing. No, no, no. Now we're gaining more than we're losing. That's good. If you guys can push, I would be very, very happy. And since we are fine on infantry equipment, mostly, I think I'm going to tell you guys to push. You guys are in balance, so I'm going to hope you guys don't waste a lot of stuff here. Infantry expert, thank you. Mountaineer as well is quite good. Nothing on you. You can get... Um, recovery rate is quite nice. Cavalry and infantry. I kind of wish I could drop this from you. It's kind of useless on a field marshal, I think. Or do they get that boost? Do the generals underneath the field marshal get the infantry boost? 
doesn't really make sense. He's not leading the troops. Okay, you guys need to stop pushing there, okay? Hold. Can you guys push here instead? You keep pushing across a river. It's not smart. Advanced military thinking. Okay. Infantry equipment production minus 5%. Yes, we're going to need this. And let's go for more output on our factories. They're actually pushing us. And it looks like this is breaking right now. Let's push you back like this and push you guys down to connect this again. Infantry are taking this back, but like I said, once they get to the mountains over here, it's going to be bad. Osman is wounded for 90 days. Uh, okay, that's not good. It's also unfortunate that he is very defensive. I wish he had more attack. He's got six defense, and he's my attacker, so... What happened there? It is very, very unfortunate. Ah, Beijing, Beijing. Can we grab Beijing? Eliminate the horse and cart. Why? You kind of need everything you can use here, man. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's stop attacking. Just hold for now. Let's go ahead and stockpile some stuff. Get some uh, planning bonuses. This is fine. Yeah, let's catch our breath right now. Uh, you can get another trade, apparently. Improv expert. Movement bonus on land. Sure. Okay. You have nothing else available. We're having some issues with infrastructure here, but yeah, it's damaged. We can repair this right now. Totalists in the Baratia commune. Now let's repair the infrastructure in Hanan and Anhui. So we can also replenish some uh, stockpile, some infantry equipment. And maybe we can start getting some support equipment. Well, enough so that we can get, uh, excuse me, uh, engineer companies. Germany declared war on Lithuania? Lithu-who? Wait, what? Lithuania is rebelling with 10 troops against Germany. Ah, uh, good luck. That's weird. Don't see that that often. But I kind of want to finish this war right now. I really, really appreciate that. They got a million dudes here. They got no national spirits that can help them right now. I still have my awesome horsepower uh, scourge of the steps here. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Large river crossing, division still repairing. Yeah, you're sick or wounded. Also, yeah, that's also kind of bad. I don't want to wait 40 days for this guy, though. He's getting another perk. Improv expert. Yeah. Take that. He's got a lot of nice stuff here. Hmm. What level is he? Why can I not see that here? He's level 6. Impressive. Very impressive. 1939. Let's go for the construction here. We almost got the efficiency cap. And we got the mobile defense coming. We got a lot more defense then. So we finished repairing, for the most part, stuff down here. Uh, right, what do I want to build? Civilian factories? Not really. We can build like two military factories down here. It should be fine. I want you to keep repairing the infrastructure though. Uh, modernize army production methods. That should make the infantry equipment come a lot quicker here. Infantry weapons boost, support artillery. This will drop my base stability by quite a bit. Uh, but... Uh, wait. 
Let me check my stability here. Average stability. Low stability is below 45%. Factory output, docket output, division organization. Yeah, I can't afford that. I can't afford to take this. I can't drop my stability right now. I would really like the population boost there. So we could get the infantry weapon boost. Yeah, we might as well. Let's get all the military boosts we can right now. Uh, it feels like such a waste, but it's fine. Actually, can you guys, can you push in here? Do you support him? It looks like we can easily take that. Can you guys push here? Do you support this? Uh, you can't support him. All right. Can you take this one? It's only one guy. You are attacking into him. Let's weaken you instead. Yeah. Australasia has been taken over by the syndicalists. And Lithuania was annexed. That's to be expected. They didn't really stand a chance, did they? Uh, you guys take this. Should be fine. We got some research. I'm getting a boost to infantry weapon, so I can wait with this a bit. I'm gonna get recon unlocked, and then we can get the improved shovels. We don't have them yet, but I would like to have that available to us. And we might have to go up to extensive. Or, or uh, yeah, extensive. We can do that right now. Yeah. It's gonna slow down the retraining time, but I think it's fine. Okay, so you're getting pushed back here, but we are winning everywhere else. Support this. You guys go down here, if you don't mind. Mobile defense. So I'm going to go with integrated support, because we have a lot of support companies. And I don't want line artillery on my calf, because it's just going to slow them down. So having a bunch of support companies, I think, is going to help us quite a bit here. Can you help? Uh-huh. You guys go here. Oh, the Feng Tian's declared war as well. God damn it. Push in, push in, push in. Ah, uh, okay. So Feng Tian is going to go to war with them as well. Retake Chahar? Ah, uh, bullshit. He's gonna demand Chahar from me. I might just give it to him. It's kind of useless. But I don't know what's gonna drop if I do that. Can we try to end this war before it's over? How long is this going to take you to do? 50 days. I don't think we can end this war in 50 days, though. It's looking kind of good, though. We are really running through them over here. Force attack. Yeah, completely butchered them, if you don't mind. Because if we can end this war with Qing fast enough, before they finish this... I think we can, you know, avoid losing that province, because I'm not going to fight Japan right now. Hell no. How close are you to capitulating? Not close enough. Okay. No, 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 no. Why are you over here? Stop. The fall of Beijing. Okay, so if I can take Nanjing, we might be able to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to lose Jahar. Push. Push. New arms testing. The New Zealand Crisis. I wonder what that is. Come on. I need Nanjing to fall right the fuck now. Okay, so there's nobody up here. Can you just keep pushing, guys? Come on, get in there. I need Nanjing to fall here. Ah, don't! Flank me, you assholes. K 
Can this be done in time? I'm not sure. Ah, come on, 80%. Just take Nanjing and everything will be fine. Ah, you bastards. Oh, we got it, we got it. Is that enough? It's enough! Yes! We avoided it. So, here's the thing though. They're gonna demand Beijing, most likely. It's the most valuable province. It's 800. There's no way I can take that. But maybe I can focus on, like... The... <sighs> There's no way for me to see the resources here. Yeah, there we go. We got steel. And that's about it. So, Beijing has a lot of, like, buildings. What I would like is... I would like to get to the shoreline. And essentially, I can spend around 300 points. So, I'm gonna go Henan. I'm gonna go Anhui. Nanjing is worth 74. So, if I take this, and Shandong. Okay, we can take... Yeah, we can take this. So, end turn. <gasps> Wait, we can take all of it! They gave up! I can't take this. I gotta pass. I gotta pass again. Pass once more. Yes, we took all of it! How did that happen? So this one should fail right now, because we are not at war. Yes, there we go! <laughs> we have waited going to war with the Japanese. Because this one fails if I'm not at war. But if I go to war with the Yunnan clique, which I kind of want to do, uh, that might happen again. So, wait. Infantry guys, I want you on the border of Yunnan clique. You guys, I want at the border of the AOG. And this is looking beautiful. Look at this Mongolian Khanate. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more infantry dudes. Actually, wait. Let's make uh, 2 times 12 over here in Mongolia. And then I'll make... 2 times 12 cab as well. Yeah. Let's keep making some troops. We got dockyards. We got one dockyard. Let's just make convoys then. Uh, since we only have 13 of those. Uh, we got a whole bunch of factories, but I'm, we're probably going to have to make a puppet, right? Oh, wait. Is that a decision over here? Fate of the Qing lands. Yeah, I'm guessing we have to decide what to do with this. Strike at Manchuria. Declares war on the Fengtian government. Ah, they are a puppet of Japan. And Japan kind of scares me. They've got free trade. And they've got a lot of fleets. There's no way in hell I can... But I think once I take the mainland here... Japan gets the option of white piecing me, as I recall. Or maybe that was just in the vanilla? I'm not sure. I'm kind of tempted to... Uh... I kind of want to do this one first. So I can decide what to do with the Qing lands. And then we can go after Yunnan, I suppose. Strike at the Cossacks. Don Kuban Union? Really? Well, they're dead now. Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan. Really interesting. This is some really interesting stuff here, but I'm going to stop right now because we have succeeded in what we wanted to do for now. And we're also out of time. So we took over Qing and all of it. We gained every single province. And they have some forts down here as well, apparently. That's a lot of broken infrastructure here. But anyway, I'm going to cut it here, like I said. So I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.